Hey there, thanks for tuning in. This is another after bedtime challenge video. Five minutes, we're going to go over how to connect the letter O to the letter V. So if you've been enjoying these short little demos, keep on watching. Okay, so you kind of saw in the previous videos how I've been just building my letter connection. So I thought I'd do another commonly requested one. And this one's a little tricky. It's the letter O to the letter V. So let's do them separately. Do a couple of variations. So here is your kind of standard letter O. Here is another similar O, but instead of a shade there for the common dot, we just use a thin line to connect to the next letter. Here is a little bit of a more modern O. Here's a very modern O. Just really exaggerating with that loop there. Okay, let's do a couple of letter V's. So the V starts with a compound curve, just like that. And then you can put a comma dot here to connect to the next letter. Or you can just kind of like with that second O, not put any weight there in that upstroke and then just exit out with a light stroke, you can get very fun and modern with a loop. Just be careful to keep this space open. We don't want to compromise readability. And then here's a very exaggerated loop, which I don't do too often. It's definitely a fun variation, but you just want to be careful about readability again, okay? My best advice sometimes is just to do a couple of practice words with these different variations and then see what looks the best or which one you like the best. Sorry, I wasn't heard, I wasn't sure if I heard baby crying. Okay, so let's um, let's connect these. So let's do a couple of connections. So the tricky part with connecting the O to V Look at this right here, okay? So from this comma dot, I exit that stroke, that oval, but I immediately go into the compound curve. See how with the V here, we start the compound curve from the bottom, but what's happening, let me grab another color. What's happening is we're stopping, we're kind of uh, picking up we're kind of starting this V right around here. So you can imagine the exit of your O, it hooks around and goes into, imagine this being that exit and it goes into that V, okay? So it's kind of, oops, I'm losing my pen cap on the ground. Let's try to put that together. All right, so imagine making your O. I come out with an exit and I go immediately into the compound curve. I've already created half of it at that point. I don't have to start from the baseline. And then I finish up here. Okay, so look at the difference between these two. There's a lot of weight here, whereas this is a little bit more bare bones. Okay, and then let's do those modern versions. So here I would advise being careful of getting too loopy. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but really you want to just keep in mind the overall result. I mean, this isn't too bad, but just know that all these loops can slowly look like other letters if you're not careful. And then to finish this video, I'll show you the word over just because it kind of has that OV connection and we can kind of um, add in that R that we've been practicing in my previous videos. Stroke by stroke, I'm careful not to compromise my spacing. You want to be very mindful of that. So what I'm doing when I do each stroke is I'm really giving each stroke its moment to shine. 
Okay, I have just a little bit of space left. Let's do that modern O, that modern V. Let's see if we can end with that R version. Okay, so this is kind of a great example to be careful. See how this R at the end, you don't want to distract from the V here. So by opening up that V, this V here, I'm careful to keep this R kind of tight so that it really is distinguished from this letter. So that's my five minutes. We're actually over yet again. It's just so hard to cram five minutes in these I mean, cram a short lesson in five minutes, but as you guys know, struggling with momhood, working life, it's hard. So I'm trying to just focus my time in these five minutes, and I hope you're enjoying these little snippets and these little gold nuggets. So I definitely love to hear from you what you'd like to see next. So leave a comment down below, and I will definitely read all of those. And if you want to grab this guide sheet, you can grab it. I will leave a link in the comment, I mean in the description box. So if you're enjoying this series, please like this video and share it, subscribe. And I'd also love to see your work. Um, feel free to join me after bedtime. <laughs> and your bedtime might look differently than mine. Mine just happens to be when my kids are asleep. asleep. So um, share it with the hashtag after bedtime challenge. And I will catch you the next time. Bye.